everybody, most of you know me, I'm Miss Roman, and we're going to be working on the stamp game subtraction today. So there were two works on the Google Drive for you to print out. Uh, there was a stamp game work, which is a lot of colored squares with numbers on them. I made mine out of construction paper. And there were some math problems. If you don't have them, that's okay. All you need is a plain piece of paper, blue, green, and red colors, and a pencil. If you don't have any of the works printed, that's okay. You can just write them on your plain paper instead of printing out the works. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen with you, and we're going to choose the first math problem. All right, so we have our math problems right here. We are going to choose the first one. So if you have your math problems, can you find this one right now? This is the one we're going to be working on. If you don't have your math problems, you can just write it down on a piece of paper. So it's nine thousands, nine hundreds, three tens, and eight ones. We're subtracting, we're taking away four thousands, four hundreds, zero tens, and five ones. If you are writing it down, if you look at my little screen, you can see that if you're writing it down, it can look like this. If you found it, give me a thumbs up. Alicia, I see you have a question. Um, can my mommy cut it? If it's cut, that's okay. If it's not cut, we don't have to use it, okay? But, but I want to cut it. Well, you can cut it after we finish the work. Okay, it's okay, but I'll cut it. Yeah, you can, you can cut it after we finish. If you, don't have, if you don't have it cut, then you can just use a piece of paper. Your math problems, you can choose to cut them or not cut them. Okay, we can make, let me just cut them so you can work. All right, some of you might already have a stamp game. I see Lucas has his math problem ready. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready with your math problem. I see Lucas is ready. Yes, Alicia? You gotta give a thumbs up. Thumbs up, perfect. Grace, did you find the math problem? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Evelyn, are you doing this work with us? Give a thumbs up, Evelyn. Sounds good. All right. So now that you have this or you have it written down, we're going to go away from this and we're going to look at our stamp game. If you have your stamp game cut out, then you can go along with me. If you do not have your stamp game cut out, you have two choices. You can watch on my screen or you can color on your paper. So I'm gonna show you quickly how to color on your paper with the stamp game. We have red and green and blue colors. So at the top of your page, you can write 1,000, 100, and I'll show you close up once I finish writing. And and one. If you don't have your stamp game, you can observe or you can do it this way. My highlighter looks a little bit yellow, but it's green. Every time we put a square down on the stamp game, you draw your own square. Every time we take away a square on the stamp game, you put an X. I'm gonna share my screen again, that way we can work on that. If you have any questions, you can let me know and I can show you how to do any version of it that you'd like. So we're gonna to go to our math problem. Lucas, in the first number, how many 1,000s do we have? Nine. How many? Nine. Nine. 
Everybody draw or get out nine one thousandths. If you're just watching, you can watch the screen. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't have enough room, so I'm gonna put them beside it. So I have nine one thousands. Alicia, on your paper, how many 100s are in the first number? One. Nine. I'm sorry, I didn't know you had food in your mouth. Everybody, let's get out or draw nine 100s together. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got out nine. Let's see, Evelyn McKay, can you tell me how many tens we have in the first number? How many tens are in the first number? Fourteen. How many tens do we have? Fourteen. I know it makes the number 30, but what is the number of tens, Evelyn? Is it five tens or three tens or one ten? What number do you see? What number do you see? One. No, right here. Can you see three? Three. 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 We have three tens. The tens are the blue ones. One, two, three. And the last one, Big Grace. How many? Oh, I can't unmute you. Can you unmute yourself? How many ones do we have, Grace? Um, How many ones do we have? Okay. Uh, you want to okay. I have one one. Well, do you remember the math problem we're all doing together? I have eight ones. Eight ones. We're gonna do eight ones. One, two, three. Four. I know I'm not going to have enough room to make a straight line, so I'm going to put them next to each other. Five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, we made our first number, everybody. High five. Now what do we do? We're doing subtraction. Lucas, does subtraction mean we add more numbers or take away numbers? Take away numbers. Subtraction means we take away numbers. So, Lucas, how many ones do we need to take away? How five. many ones does the second number say? Five. Five. Let's take away five ones and put them at the bottom so that we can make our new number. Alicia, how many tens do we have to make take away? I'm actually not done yet. You're not done yet? Okay, keep working. Big Grace, how many tens do we have to take away? Um, zero. Zero. Grace, are you doing this on your own table or are you watching on the computer? Um, on my own table. Perfect. All right, so we're going to take away zero ones. Nothing, right? Let's see. Evelyn, can you tell me how many 100s we have to take away? What number does it say? What did it say? I can't hear you. Five. Those are the ones. Can you tell me the 100s? What number's underneath of the nine? Four. Four. Thank you, Evelyn. We're going to take away four. Four one hundreds. One, two, three, four. And the last one. Alicia, are you just about ready to tell me how many one thousands we're taking away? 
No. No? Okay. Last one, we're taking away four one thousandths. So let's check our work. To check our work, we have to check and see if the bottom number forms the bottom number. Hmm. Do we have four thousands? Yes, give me a thumbs up if you have four thousands at the bottom. Give me a thumbs up if you have four hundreds at the bottom. Yes, Alicia? Um, I'm not, I'm still doing the top one. Okay, we'll keep working on it. We're gonna go on with the math problem so we can keep going with the lesson, but if you have well, questions, you can ask, okay? I don't know the last, the last number. Well, you should have the numbers with you, or you should write them down. Well, I just don't remember the the Did one. Did you find the number in the math problem? The one, the one number. Did you find the math problem? Do you have no, it on your table? I just did 1,100. I didn't do the ones. Well, can or you, the you tens. do you have the math problem on your table? No. Did you write down the math problem? Which is it, so that one? Yeah. It's the 9,900, three tens and eight ones, and we take away 4,000, 400, zero tens and five ones. You can also look up at my screen, it has all of them right here. Okay. Lucas, does the number on the bottom match the 4,000s, 400s, zero tens and five ones does it match mm -hmm. yeah so now let's count how many we have left at the top that's going to be our answer evelyn can you help me count these numbers evelyn how many are right here how many ones do we have one two Three. Three, we have three. Oh no. Three. All right, Evelyn, how many of the blue tens do we have? One. Three, we have three tens. Thank you, Evelyn, for your help. Big Grace, can you help me with the one hundreds? How many do I have? Five. Five. And how many one thousands do I have? Um, five. So that's my answer. Five thousands, five hundreds, three tens, and three ones. So let's see if we can write that together. Remember, we have our math problem. Mama, when I run to my pants. We have our math problem right here. So we're going to write it together. We had three ones and three tens and five one hundreds and five one thousands. Is that the same thing on your paper, Lucas? Lucas. Is that the same on your paper? Grace, is that the same that's on your paper? I see on Evelyn's paper she wrote it. Wow. You've been working hard. Every Alicia, how are you doing? I see yours, Lucas. How are you doing, Alicia? Good. Did you find your math problem? And I'm also dead. You're done, all right. Did you find the math problem? Perfect. Are you ready to keep going, Alicia? Yes. Yeah? Make sure you keep your math problem right in front of you so that it's easy so it doesn't get lost, right? 
Okay, what's the next one? All right, we're gonna choose the next math problem. Let's see. We're going to choose 3,000s, 800s, 610s, and 7-1s minus 2,000s, 400s, 610s, and 6-1s. Let's so look for it with your math problems. If you did not cut up your math problems, if they're still on one piece of paper, then it's at the bottom of the page. Give me a thumbs up when you have found it or when you have finished writing it down. Lucas found it. See, Lucas found it. I think Evelyn has been writing it down. Alicia, did you find it yet? No. Not yet? Okay. Oh, your mom found it. Grace, did you find this math problem? I don't know. I'm just watching on the computer. You're just watching on the computer? Okay. Well, let's keep going then. We're going to go back here. Make it all go away. All right. So let's see. Lucas. In our first number, how many ones do we have? In our first yes. number, how many ones do we have? Seven. Seven. Let's count seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. All right, Alicia, can you tell me how many tens were in our first number? Um, how many tens? Um, six. Six of them. Thank you, Alicia. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. Grace, do you know how many one hundreds there were in our first number? Six. How many one hundreds in our first number? Can you look at my Eight. screen? Eight. Thank you. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And how many one thousands? Evelyn, do you remember how many one thousands we had in our first number? What's this number? Three. One. All right, let's get out three one thousands. So now, just so it's easy for us to see, I'm going to draw a line underneath. Three, two, three, two, five. This line is showing us underneath of this line, we're going to take the numbers away. So let's see. Lucas, how many ones do we need to take away? Six. Six. Let's all take away six ones. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put them underneath of the line to show that I'm taking them away. Four, five. 
Okay, let's see. Big Grace, how what? many tens do I have to take away? Six. Six tens. Everybody take away six tens with me. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, let's see. Alicia, do you remember how many 100s we have to take away? You can look at the screen to check. Alicia. All right, let's see. Um, Evelyn, do you remember how many 100s we have to take away? Four. Four. Let's go take away four 100s. And Lucas, how many 1,000s do we have to take away? Two. Two. Let's take them away. So at the bottom, we made our number two thousands. This is the bottom number, the one that we took away. Four hundreds, six tens, and six ones. That matches the same number on the bottom. It matches the same number on the bottom. So now let's see what our answer is. Alicia, can you look at the screen and help me find the answer? I know the answer. I already wrote it down. Oh, can you tell me how many ones we have? One. We have one, one. Okay, how many zero, tens do we have? Zero. Okay, how many one hundreds do we have? Five. We have five one hundreds? Hmm, did you take all four one hundreds away? Um... My prof math problem um, wants me to take six of them away, and I. So you chose a different math problem than the one. I took four away. You took four away, and so we took four away. How many are left? Look at the screen. Look at the screen. Um. One. Two. Three. Four. We have four one hundreds. Thank you, Alicia. And let's see, we have Alicia from Casa One. How many 1,000s do we have, Alicia? How many 1,000s do we have, Alicia? Can you look at my screen? Alicia from Casa One? Maybe not, let's see. Big Grace, how many 1,000s do we have left? One. One. So that's our answer. We have. One thousand four tens, one thousand four hundred zero tens, and one one. Let's write this down in our answer. All right, I'm going to circle our math problem so that you can see it again. And we're going to write our answer down. All right, we have one, one, zero, tens, four, one hundred, and one, one thousand. Go ahead and write this down on your paper. Well, you guys are working so hard. I see Evelyn wrote hers down. Alicia, were you able to fix yours? Perfect, Alicia. Remember when we had eight 100s and we took four of them away, we had four left instead of five. I see that Lucas finished his. Grace, do you have any questions? No. 
Nope. All right. So that's the time that we have to go over our math problems. We only have a few minutes and that's not enough time to start a new math problem. Do you think that you could practice this work at home by yourself, Lucas? Yeah, you can practice it at home. You have lots of math problems. We have so many. And so you can keep practicing at home and try by yourself, right? You can use the stamp game to practice your addition too. So I'll say bye right now and I might see you guys in the next lesson, okay? Bye.